Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these Solo Trip Podcast episodes. We talk about all things spirituality and metaphysics and occult science and all of those kind of stuff to do with healing freeing ourselves from this hellhole. So for this video, I wanted to go back into a topic that I literally filmed, I want to say it was the start of last year. It was so long ago and then I fell off of the whole series that I was going to do and I wanted to go through every single scene mirror because there are seven, but I do personally feel like there's way more than seven, you know, but seven are kind of the main ones that are talked about and I was trying to film a video for each one, but I think I only did how many did I do? I think I did three. Yeah, so we're on to number four and I'm finally sitting down to film number four after probably a year of saying that I was going to do it. So I apologise for that. Very sorry. But you know, life takes over and I feel like I have to be in the mood to talk about each topic that I want to talk about, you know. You have to resonate with it. But anyway, so this video is going to be about the seven scene mirrors and I will have links to the previous videos that I did down below. But for this video, we're going to talk about number four, which is a forgotten love. And I do feel like all of these mirrors work so well together and they can kind of merge. Like you can experience multiple. They can kind of have bits of each, you know, but it does really help you to uncover yourself and uncover the types of situations that you're attracting into your life and why, you know, so then we can break these generational curses and cycles and stop attracting the same shit over and over again and wondering why we're still attracting it, you know. So this fourth one is a forgotten love and this kind of goes into, um, like addictive behavior where I feel like there's so many ways to explain it and so many um, possibilities and circumstances that you could be experiencing, you know? So when it comes to like addiction and compulsive behavior, that could range anywhere from literal addiction, like alcohol and drugs and that kind of thing, all the way to like being addictive addictive, addicted to love and toxic relationships or addicted to like the grind and working hard, you know, like there can be so many ways that we can get caught up in these cycles where we feel like we can't do it differently, we can't change it, we can't let go of it, like we need it, you know, it's almost like a um, codependent mentality where you literally get so addicted and so caught up in wanting that thing or feel feeling like that thing is something that you need or something that you can't live without you know so yeah it can kind of range from a whole different thing so maybe you're somebody that's dealing with addiction or maybe you're somebody that is experiencing a codependency towards relationships or towards your parents or towards a circumstance, you know, you could be very attached to like the poverty mindset or very attached to needing to work hard all of the time, like you can't achieve success any other way, you just have to burn yourself out on a daily basis, you know, there's a lot of um, ways that we can experience this, but in your life, um, you will meet people and you will go through experiences that are a mirror and a reflection of you. So with this mirror, because obviously there are seven others and probably many more ways that things reflect you, but for this one, maybe let's just use love. I feel like love everyone can relate to, but you can take it in whatever circumstance you're in. Maybe it is addiction or whatever kind of thing it is. But let's just go with um, codependency because this is something I have experienced so fucking bad, like to the extreme, where you become addicted. Even thought patterns that just came to me randomly. Even thought patterns we get addicted to, you know. But anyway, so say that it's a romantic relationship and you are addicted to feeling validated, like feeling loved, feeling good, feeling worthy, you know, like you are addicted to having other people affirm that to you. Now, you can go through all of these experiences where you attract, you could either attract the people that do that, 
and you get caught up in the toxic cycle of being codependent and relying on those people to do that for you, or you could attract people that are the opposite. You probably have experienced both, to be honest, but you could attract the opposite where they won't do that for you and you literally feel like you're drowning, like you feel like you're on your own and why won't this person commit to me? Why won't this person give me what I need? Why won't they tell me what I need to hear, you know? I've definitely experienced both ends of that spectrum. So that's telling you a belief about yourself. It's showing you who you are and who you aren't and what you need and what you don't. But then also maybe you experienced a relationship that you really loved and it was really good and now you keep attracting all of these toxic relationships and you can't understand why and it could be like you're you've forgotten this thing that you really loved you know so you're getting in all of these experiences and then maybe you meet somebody that really reminds you of that forgotten love they really remind you of that thing that you had once and that you don't have anymore you know so like I do feel like these um mirrors kind of um they like merge together because the reason you're even attracting somebody that's toxic like that could be revealing who you are, it could be re revealing what you judge, it could be revealing something that you've given up or you've had taken from you, you know, these are the other three mirrors that I've already talked about, so it could be revealing a million different things, but when it comes to a forgotten love, it's something that you've you've forgotten about, you've lost sight of it because you've been so caught up in all of these cycles and all of these addictions and all of these compulsive behaviours that you keep repeating, you know, cycles, you keep repeating all of these compulsive behaviours. So either you're attracting reminders of the forgotten love or you've still forgotten about it, you know, and maybe I'm the reminder of it by you watching this video. Maybe you've completely forgotten about it and you haven't yet experienced that. But I think for a lot of people there are things that they've forgotten about that they loved and their toxic behaviours mean that they lose that thing or that they forget that they even wanted that thing or even liked that thing. So yeah, I hope this made sense. I haven't filmed this video in so long talking about these topics but it really is just showing you yourself and the different ways the different beliefs that you hold and the different ways that you respond and react to those beliefs and then you start to experience other people and circumstances and situations that are reflecting that you know so really take a look at the type of experience that you're going through and are there any thought patterns that you're addicted to are there any behaviors that you're addicted to are there any like are you codependent with and it might not just be with um, people, you might not be codependent with people, you could be codependent with anything, you could be addicted to work, you could be addicted to material things and constantly caught up in a cycle of needing to buy new things over and over again, you know, like it's about compulsive behaviour and the cycles that you get caught up in and then attracting reminders of those behaviours and of those things that you've had to let go of and forgotten and lost through that compulsive behavior so and once you shed light on it you're able to break that cycle you're able to work through it so that you can then really heal that and stop attracting those things you know so I hope this video was helpful we have a nice quick episode for once <laughs> but thank you so much for listening and watching and I am I actually am going to go through all seven and I will have a link to the rest of them down below so thank you so much for listening and watching don't forget to check out the description box for links to my music and all of my social media as well as our private Instagram group where we just help each other like I post all the time on there just asking you different questions and we interact with each other and you can always DM me as well and my phone number will also be down below. I swear I have so many things to list off at the end of the videos but yeah. So you can text me if you want to chat further, if you need any advice, if you just want someone to vent to or if you want updates for my music or anything like that my phone number will be down below. So thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps and watching on YouTube. I really really appreciate you and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Oh, yeah, thinking like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking my, I'm not thinking like me. My range all white. Oh, yeah, 
think he might I'm the thing he like, be my ring, Joe White 